guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. Um, I am being guided today to talk a little bit about manifestation. Um, I have been very drawn to manifesting for many, many years. Um, I think it was around the time that The Secret, um, I'm sure you remember that book, that movie that came out that just was huge. And I think that probably um, became so big because that was like an energetic place for that information to kind of flow back into the collective. And it just really took off. I can remember when I saw The Secret, it was on an Oprah Winfrey show. And I was just absolutely mesmerized by the fact that these people were sitting there saying, you can manifest anything into your life that you want based on what you think about. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> it's that easy. Um, unfortunately, it's not that easy. If you've ever tried it, um, maybe you have really good luck with it. But um, I've always found it to be a little bit more challenging than they made it look on that, you know, that show, um, all of those people. However, um, going through my awakening process and coming into, you know, the higher levels of information that have started flowing um, through me, it's given me a lot more information to work with around manifesting. And so I just wanted to share a very non-scientific um, perspective on manifesting and, you know, I, of course, I'm still working on it as well, so I'm, I'm not a manifestation expert, but I wanted to talk about how your vibrational frequency plays a role in it. And, um, you know, maybe this will spark something in you that'll help you to connect some dots as well. So, um, you know, through the secret and when we were first learning about law of attraction, if, if you've come across it, you know, law of attraction is like attracts like. Um, you attract things into your life based on what you're thinking about, um, what you're visualizing. And I think this is true. I think visualization plays a huge role in it. Um, but there's a lot more to it. So um, I think you can kind of visualize things that you want all day, but there's a second, a second part of it, and that is the vibrational frequency. So let me break it down kind of like this. Um, your thoughts are very powerful. They are energy. What you think about, you're kind of creating this energy. You're creating this vibration. You're creating emotion. So what you think about creates this emotion that we can feel, um, whether it's sadness or anger or happiness and joy. Um, you know, those thoughts create this emotion and that emotion holds a vibrational frequency. Now, again, this is not scientific and I'm sure there are many different ways to explain how all of this works, um, but just kind of a, a general overview. Um, so as you create that emotion within you, that creates a vibrational frequency and it's the frequency that aligns you with what it is you're trying to manifest. So let's just take something that, um, you know, many of us want, and that's, that's, you know, a new car. Let's just take that for instance. So you are seeing this car that you really want, you know, you're visualizing yourself in the new car, you're really wanting the new car. Um, you know, maybe you have a vision board where you've got the new car plastered all over it, um, but you're not bringing it into your reality. There's these things that are called limiting beliefs that just, um, they've been really programmed in us our whole life by society, our parents, our religious um, places of religion, our school systems, and not necessarily that they've all done it purposely to keep us from manifesting, but these limiting beliefs that we carry also create these lower vibrational frequencies in us. So for instance, if you are wanting this car, which of course is vibrating at a high frequency or sitting kind of at that level, 
and you're sitting there having these thoughts, even if you're you're kind of, it's a subconscious thing of, oh, I can't have that car. I don't deserve it. I'm not worthy. I can't afford it. How am I going to pay for that car? That car is too nice for me. Um, you know, all of those things that, again, whether you consciously know you're thinking about, thinking them or you don't, it's like you're, 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 you're your frequency is going up and down and up and down and and you're not coming into alignment with what you're trying to bring in and manifest into your life. So the thing about it is, is that we are at our core, we are manifestors. We are creator beings. We have this power, like think of it like you have the superpower of manifesting. You just have been manifesting by default. And what that means is you manifest based on what you're thinking about and the emotions that are created based on those thoughts. So where you're focusing your attention is where you're, it's, it's, it's kind of like this. My gods gave me this, um, this way of looking at it and they showed me a fire, like a campfire. And let's say you take all of these things in your life that are not working, that you don't like, and you just kind of put them in this fire and you light it on fire. And you're standing there and you're focused on all of these things that you don't want, that, you know, the the aggravations, the frustrations, the people in your life that drive you crazy or just whatever, the situations that are challenging, all of those things are in this fire and you're standing over it and you're focused on it. You're thinking about it. You're talking about it. You're bringing it up again. You're replaying it over and over. You're calling a friend and saying, oh my God. You know, you just keep bringing it up. What you're doing is you are constantly putting your focus on it, which is fuel. So think of that, think of yourself standing over that fire and you're just pouring tons of gasoline onto that that you don't want. Well, what does that do? You know, you're putting gas on this fire and that fire is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger (laughs) until it's just out of control. And so that to me is manifesting by default because that is what we do. Unfortunately, we just get so stuck in our minds and in our emotions and especially on the things that are not going right. And all you're doing is you are pouring fuel over that fire. So what happens if you walk away from it and you no longer focus on it, you're no longer bringing it up and talking about it and um, you know, revisiting and, and identifying with it, um, the fire is eventually going to die out. And so that is going to change your frequency and raise it back up because you're no longer focused on that and you're no longer manifesting those things. Because remember, as you're, you're fueling the things that you don't want, you are just, um, you know, you're, you're aligning with more of those things. So you're just going to continue to pull them into your life. And it it could be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same things. It's just going to be challenges and situations that match that frequency. So when it comes to learning how to manifest what you really want, um, yes, it's about visualization. Yes, it's about, um, you know, having those, those good positive thoughts that you do deserve it, that you are worthy, and that even if you don't know how you're going to be able to pay for that car or whatever it is that you're looking to do, that it's okay. The universe is going to bring you ways to do it but you have to stop resisting that by fueling what you don't want you have to allow the space for your vibration to raise so that those um you know those ideas of how you're going to make it happen can come into you and so it is about the visualization it is about letting go of those limiting beliefs and and starting to believe a new story start telling yourself a new story but also creating emotion within you that is going to help you align to what it is that you're trying to achieve much quicker. And all of those things kind of work together. So one of the things that you can do is start feeling what it would feel like to already have 
that thing that you want? What would that feel like? What would driving that new car feel like? How much joy would it bring you to, to have those nice new features or whatever it is you want? Because I think for most of us, myself included, we're always waiting for that thing to manifest in our life in order to create that emotion or that feeling. So for instance, you know, we all want a pile of money in our bank account, right? <laughs> and um, we're waiting for that to happen. We're waiting for that pile of money to manifest first for us to feel that relief and that joy and that freedom and, and whatever emotion that having that pile of money would bring you. But that's the opposite of how it works. You have to feel it first, and it's challenging. I mean, I am really working on it. <laughs> I'm working on manifesting that pile of money, so I'll let you know when it gets here. <laughs> but I understand the concept. It's, it's about um, you've got to really feel and live as if you already have it. It is very challenging. I'm not going to lie to you, but we have to learn to shift how we've been doing things because... I guarantee that you have been manifesting things into your life by default, by what you focus on, what you think about, um, where you are putting your energy, your, you know, the emotions that you're creating. And if that is not bringing the things into your life that you really want, you really desire, then it's time to take a look at that, a good hard look at like, what am I thinking about? What am I focused on? How, you know, Tell yourself that your energy is so incredibly powerful because it is, and it is fuel, and you are going to fuel the things that you are focused on and thinking about and creating the emotions within your body, which creates that vibrational frequency, which is going to align you with the things that you either want or don't want, depending on where you're at. So I just thought this was, um, it really shifted the way that I thought about manifesting because, you know, like I said, I've, I've done the vision boards and I've done all the stuff and I talk about manifesting and law of attraction all the time, but I've never seen the results that I've really wanted to see in my life. Um, but understanding how everything works together and how you have to start shifting the way that you've been doing things, which is, is kind of what this ascension process is all about. We are shifting from a lower third dimensional frequency or a vibration. Think of it like a vibration because dimension, I think it really um, throws some people off. They think we're going to a new dimension which is like a, a different place, you know, out in outer space. And that's not really what it is. It's a, it's a different frequency. So we're moving from a very low, dense um, vibrational frequency where we have a lot of these challenges of lack and stress and doubt and fear and worry. And we're shifting to a higher vibration. This is happening slowly and it's happening um, for everybody based on where they're at. But it's happening. And so as we shift from this lower vibrational frequency into a higher vibrational frequency, it's kind of time that we start to realize that some of the ways that we've done things in the past no longer um, are going to help us as we get into these higher vibrations. So if you are looking to really step into your manifesting powers, which I am definitely down with doing that, um, just take a look at your thoughts, take a look at where your focus is, take a look at what you're talking about, um, you know, and, and think of every time you think a thought or say something, you know, to a friend, a family member, um, you know, become consciously aware of it. Is, am I saying this for my greatest and highest good? Is this helping to move me up vibrationally or is this keeping me in a low vibrational frequency? Because again, that is going to affect what you're manifesting into your life. And manifesting doesn't always have to be like big things like a car or a pile of money or whatever it is that you're thinking about. It can just be life experiences. So we can shift those life experiences based on where we're at vibrationally. So I just wanted to give you that. Hopefully um, it makes a little bit of sense. Again, 
Um, I'm not a scientist. Um, it's just manifesting is something that I've loved, and I just wanted to share this information with you, and hopefully it will help someone begin to manifest a, a brand new wonderful reality. Thanks for checking out this video.